So let's say you have especially violent neighbors who like to play with AK-47s, or your Jack Bauer, or, then let's be serious, you're working for an embassy, let's say in a region where you might need a little bit more protection. Then you might want to have the BMW X5 as protection VR6. VR6 is not defining the engine because this is a V8 here, it's about the protection class, because this one here is, people sometimes say, those SUVs are like tanks. This one is a true tank. Why? I'll tell you more about it here on Autogefühl. Subscribe if you haven't done so far and please join us in Full HD. Full screen and full length. Let's go. I am your father. In the front we can see it's not too different from a normal BMW X5. Those ones here are the standard LED headlamps. It's nice to see them for once because usually we had the optional laser lights and they have a little bit different structure right there. But that's con not connected to this car, just in general. LED is standard, optional adaptive LED and then optional, optional, the laser LED. Here you can see it has the black shadow line. That means that the front grille is also in black to make it a little bit let's say a little bit more evil to show this one here is the strong protective versions. There again the VR6 defines a special protection class. Of course there are vehicles that are even safer but this one here is so to say on the one hand a normal passenger car which then again has a special protection um, for example proof against AK-47 bulletproof and not only at a certain you know area but really around the vehicle. We had those discussions, um, you know, with the Ford police interceptor vehicles, which are just covered at certain levels. And I think, you know, the criticism is, um, you know, really true for that one. So it only makes sense when you make it full circle around the car, basically. And this one here, even proof against hand grenades. It depends on, you can get different grades, even for this car, for the ceiling, also for the underfloor color cover. There's a special underfloor cover as well. And there you can get different protective grades, which even protects against a TNT explosion from four meters away. So, pretty safe for that one. What do you think? For which purpose would you actually use such a vehicle? Again, there are indeed customers for that. They don't talk about the price yet. I would just estimate like, you know, maybe double the price of a normal version of that one. So, yeah, it will get very, very expensive, but of course it can also save lives. And now we will test the intercom, so I'll hand over the microphone to Holger, who's standing on, who's standing on the outside, and I'll get into the car and test the push-to-talk function. So, microphone is gone. Hello, hello. We have to protect the president. Who are you? Get away from the vehicle. Please let me in. Let me in. Ah, now when I um, stop the push to talk button, then I can also hear what Holger is saying, but I cannot uh, hear what anyone is saying while I'm actually speaking to you, so... I will shoot at you. What did you say? I will shoot. <laughs> oh my god, get away from the vehicle. But it's also interesting how my voice is changing and like, oh, but it's like a little bit like Darth Vader voice, right? I am your father. The length is just normal, 4 meters 92, 16 foot 1 or 194 inches. And this special adaptation is done in Toluca, Mexico. So this is a company where BMW works together with. But they were involved in the development process, so this one was planned from the beginning on. Wheels, they don't come with the biggest size because it has an additional weight. So I'll give you more details on that. So either 19 or those ones here, 20 inch wheels. So give a little bit more comfort, a little bit more dampening. 
you cannot get the air suspension for this car because it is significantly heavier, so the normal adaptive steel dampers for that, but they're also doing a good job, test them earlier as well. This one, of course, will behave a little bit differently, therefore they also have some, you know, adaptations for the extra weight as for suspension, and also the anti-tilt control soon will fill you in with more technology features. Well, this additional light there on the top, this one can be de-plugged, so you do not have to use it. And that's also one of the advantages. If you may be using it for special forces, it looks like a normal BMW X5. You can just see those additional or thicker black uh, layers here at the windows. Then you might know, ah, this is the protective version. Other than that, it can also be, you know, a little bit camouflaged in the normal traffic, so that might be one use case if you don't want to attract so much attention at first. Other than that, normal design lines here, pretty much upright windows, an interesting design line in the new generation of the X5 right there, which raises a little bit to the rear door handle, and also with a fitting black color, you know, it fits to the overall shadow line of the car. Usually you have then this M Sports package, which is included in the M50i version, because this car essentially is an X5 M50i, plus then the protective packages. Everything here and underneath, all then with high strength steel, then they can also protect against the bullets. And of course, also the glass. We're going in depth on that very soon. So in the rear, just visually, you can't see any big differences. You see here those horizontally drawn tail lumps, beautiful in this 3D-like structure. Also here with those fake exhaust tips, here in this shadow line, all in black, the real exhaust on the inside. Well, special about this car is that it standardly comes with the anti-tilt control, which is usually an option, and also you have the rear axle steering to make it a little bit more agile. The anti-tilt control is very important here because the car has a higher center of gravity and is, of course, way heavier. So all this protection is about 800 kilograms. And then, of course, it makes sense to keep the car a little bit more upright while driving. Well, and plus 800 kilograms means the M50i is about 2.3 tons. Then you're, you know, even higher than three tons in weight. And if you then think about the gross vehicle weight, which is in higher than 3.5 tons, yeah, that means with a usual German or European driving license, you're not allowed to drive it anymore. Yeah, sorry, you need a special driver's license for that then. Of course, depending on the regulations and other markets, it won't be such a problem. But usually when you drive this car, you might be a professional driver anyway, or you need a different driver's license for your job. So as I said, this is an M50i essentially, so you have this 4.4 liter V8 engine under the hood, 530 horsepower. Of course, it will be slower than the normal one because of the additional weight, but still be fast enough. Here you can also see, you know, the for more stiffness, special bars right there, but we also know them from the normal versions. Pretty nice engine cover they put on right there. So the front area is actually not protected, but you know, when the engine gets a bullet from the exterior, it's not that bad, of course, as you would get it through your head. So the main protective in, uh, area is, of course, then everything that is around the passengers on the inside. And we'll also check out very soon now if they still have reasonable space or if there are any limitations with this special adaptation. So you have to unlock the fuel cap from the inside and then you have a special self-sealing fuel canister in here and it approximately works like you know with those anti-puncture tires so as soon as there would be a hole like you know i'm using my ak-47 to <laughs> shoot a hole uh, shoot a hole through it um, then there is a special um, liquid and layer which basically becomes a thick foam Again, like, you know, with anti-puncture anti tires, and they actually fill the gap so there's no leakage or something which then could catch fire again. So interesting that they also thought of that. Let's now get to the interior. What is very interesting indeed, you know, those high-strength steel materials that are being used, there are certain parts here, for example, also in the door, which would have normally like a gap or where there's like a transition between one and the next part, and they use those overlays to still be able to protect it. Very interesting. And here, of course, with the door, first of all, it's really super heavy because most of the extra weight is actually, soft close, by the way, here, most of the extra weight is actually the glass. And you can see here those black areas are thicker, 
or wider. And the reason is, you can also see it right here, the reason is they need more space to glue those glass together. So it's 3.3 centimeters thick, special bulletproof glass again, and I can also lower the window right there, and then you can really see it. So halfway, there it is. You can see those layers here, again, different layers. And this one here is also a very special, like a corner. So if you think about there's like a TNT or a hand grenade explosion from the outside, first of everything is getting pushed, that's okay. But then after, you know, the first blast is over, then you know there's low pressure and everything is getting pulled. And otherwise those glass would be getting pulled out and this then prevents it from getting like sucked out of it. Very interesting and of course pretty massive and pay attention because there's no <laughs> squish protection right here so this will close in any way. Um, maybe like if there's a gun pointing inside the car or whatever so keep your fingers out of it. But definitely very heavy door due to this additional glass layer. And the rest of the interior actually looks pretty much normal. It's the same. You see here the M50i entry badge. So you have this little bit sportier interior. And you can also pick any color you might want to have. Also, as you you know would normally spec an M50i from the interior. So that's indeed not much different. BMW also does offer sensor tech seats, which would be more sustainable. This one here is the full animal skin spec. M steering wheel, a little sportier style. And you know this set up with the 12.3 inch screens, left side digital instruments and the right side the latest infotainment system inbuilt there. But there are indeed some more other special features to come. So you also get a fire extinguisher right there just for safety and you know some special forces will, might be using this car too so um, that makes sense then. Seating position is normal as you used to from the X5. At the moment the seat is still in a very upright position or in a high position so let's move it a little bit down. Um, we also have a like, reflector layer here on the inside at the moment from roof, so that's not belonging to the car at all. But still there's you know, plenty of headroom left. And this very upright, comfortable seating position. And again, you don't really realize this would be a very special version unless you come here to this middle console. And that's pretty interesting because here in the front, we have special controls. We have this blue button. This is then for you know, those hazard lights on the outside that you might use you know, for police use or special forces or something. Um, so that's one of the main things. And on the left side you have an alarm button when you're on the inside and want to hit all the lights and also you know, alarm sound when you're in danger. And this is your PTT push to talk. You might know that from you know, TeamSpeak <laughs> programs for gaming or something. So this is a one-way channel. So when you're inside and everything is sealed, you push it and you can talk to people on the outside. When you let it go, then you can also hear what people are you know, saying to the car from the outside. Yeah, a little bit creepy as for your imagination, but that's how it works. And here again, this layer, very interesting structure. That's you know also how you would normally know it from the X5. And here also in the automatic shifting lever, M button and you can control the touchscreen with touch, of course, but also here still with this jog pressing, you can write something on it and also still have some hotkeys. So, yeah, you're, you're pretty much at home. Driving-wise, it would, of course, be different because of the extra weight. That's also one of the reasons why they went for the not you know, or not offering the air suspension. So again, the cockpit overview with this horizontal layout. Then we got some leatherette materials here on the top. Then this screen here, it looks very well integrated, although it's coming, you know, outwards. So I think the BMW integration is quite nice. And again, this screen here is all we touch. You also have this GPS map here. It has a very good processor unit right there, so you can process it very well. And telephone either with Bluetooth connection or then Apple CarPlay wireless for the BMW. And... Um, well, this is the car visualization here, also with a fitting color. In the left side, you have those digital instruments. No, I don't want some traffic information at the moment. <laughs> so, and the AC unit is just here in the middle. Car is not properly powered here. Ah, there it is. There it comes to life. So, this is the AC unit still, where you can, you know, control it. Also, while driving, I like to have those controls still and not doing everything with the touchscreen. And those digital instruments right there, which go counterclockwise with the RPM, 
but actually you get used to it quite well, so that's not a problem. USB recharging, a normal or an older one in the front part, and then under the armrest. There we go, there's USB-C, and well, you know, even Jack Bauer needs to recharge his smartphone from time to time. Oh, and by the way, here on the co-driver side, it's the very same protection here at the inside glass, and those are also specially polycarbonate layers, and they also have splinter protection, so when some bullets are hitting that one, there are no splinters, um, so no one is getting hurt there. And this is, by the way, the maximum or lowest position you can put the windows. We've got a hard state situation. We need to get out. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, so in a real hostage situation you need to get out a little bit faster than i do and you maybe you know need to get used to open those very heavy doors but just that you get an impression of how heavy they actually are the rear door is a little bit easier to control actually and you see you don't lose any leg room in general the x5 does not have the plentiest uh, leg room right there considering the length of the vehicle but you see you get along very well it's no problem even with tall adults again we have this reflective layer on the top here for photo shooting and stuff M entry badge here also in the rear seat you sit a little bit falling backward but um if i now know i close the door and i'm actually safe from hand grenades that's a very interesting feeling here on the inside of the doors you also see those additional steel layers so you can see a little bit of that and of course well, everything pretty massive. You know, there are just some visual proofs that this one here is the special protection vehicle. So um, you can also be mistaken and think it's just in normal X5, but that's also one of the reasons they planned it in this normal production. So this is then not a third only, you know, only third party manufacturer. Yes, of course, a third party manufacturer is doing that, but they really planned this vehicle here, this version from the beginning on. So I said when, I, when we do the new all-new generation, we will also do a protection vehicle. That's also the reason why everything is so well integrated. So maybe thinking about the first aid kit or something, you can put it right here because this one here is the protected area at the inside of the vehicle. The outside trunk is not. We'll soon take another perspective from the outside here, but this would be a place where I can put some, you know, stuff. Yeah, maybe should should be protected from falling over or something but again you can put things here which you always can access inside the cabin from the protected area and Holger was just wondering can you actually load things through and in this case no because that's the reason of this vehicle that you cannot do that so if you flip the seats you can see here this is then again this protective layer which is again AK-47 proof so nothing can hit you from the back so what about the trunk? The comfort table is not available because the trunk has a limitation right there. That means the lower part we have to open manually. Then we have this special cover right here. Because here you can again see this seal, this glass seal, because the rear of the trunk, this is not protected. Then this area that starts right here, this has the bulletproof protection then. That means here you would just store some, you know, stuff which is not that important and then again Behind this glass, you can also store something you might want to access you know, directly from the protected inside. So the width is actually not limited. That's the same as in a normal X5. But again, here, of course, a little bit, you know, like a, like a hole limit, limited in height because you have this special seal right there. But overall, I think very well usable. And, you know, I really thought of everything. If you're getting kidnapped in your own car then, then there's also like a panic button on the inside you can hit and then at the next stop the tail will open, you can get out, but then the rest of the car is getting sealed, so the kidnappers are then self-kidnapped on the inside. And now to our conclusion for today with the BMW X5 as a special protection VR6 version. So, of course it will be more fun to drive usual X5 because the weight is lower and the car is more agile. And you can also get an air suspension then, not possible here, this one here, of course, with this 800 kilograms more in weight. Pretty heavy overall, but of course, this has a special use. And, well, you might want to only have driving fun tomorrow if you're still alive in certain areas. And that's where this car is actually built for. So, if you are maybe members of a special forces or if you need it as an embassy person, then this might be a solution to drive some of the normal passenger SUV from the exterior but which is still very protective then from the inside out. 
I really love this intercom function. <laughs> I could play with it all day here in the studio. So having a lot of fun with those. Yeah, I, I really need this light there on, on the top. But you can um, plug or deplug it, um, of course. Hmm, but it might be handy for traffic jam, jam situations. Hmm. Yeah, I got to think about that. I'll talk to BMW about that later. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this insight here today, how a car can be made bulletproof. And I'd like to hear your feedback on that. Let's discuss this car. And of course, tune into our normal BMW X5 driving reviews. We will all link them in the video descriptions and also in the pinned comment. Stay tuned, stay subscribed and see you next time.